Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing an updated house tour. I just, for some reason, felt the need to since I've changed quite a few things. But the only room that has really been changed, if you notice, is upstairs. I moved Rebecca's sideboard from this room up into this room and then I moved the closet up against the wall in the house and then I think that's about it. Oh, and then in the living room, the table's in there, and I think that's still about it from what I changed, I think, from the last video. So, let's start with upstairs since it always takes me longer to go through. So, here are my bunk beds. Um, my dad and I built them. I always get questions on where I got them, but my dad and I built them from wood from Menard's. So they're just nice little bunk beds and there's a Selena poster around the wall. Alina's laying in this one right now. And then we have some bags hanging on here. Another one over there and a hat. And then Kanani's in this bed. The Debbie Ryan poster back there and a Monk Seal poster there. And there's some stuff under the bed. My two little mirror book airs. A cute little rug on the floor and then over between the bed and the nightstand is Kanani's bag and then we have some stuff on top of the nightstand along with some stuff in the drawer and then a Bridget Mendler poster right there love peace and happiness poster and then a Shea Tards poster and then some stars hanging on the ceiling and then my second bunk bed has some more bags on it, some gymnastics medals, this bead thing, some more stuff under the bed. I'll do detailed, um, another like updated detailed room tour. And then Allie is up on this bed, and then Sage is on this bed. All of their hair is being curled right now, so just thought I'd let you know that. Um, this is Sage's dog. And then here is Rebecca's sideboard. It's very pretty. On it, I just have these gymnastics, like, bouquet thingies. And then on top of it, I have this sign. The mermaid lives here. This is Grace's bouquet of flowers. And then right here, I have a positively adorable poster. I'll go through what's in there in the sideboard when I do the detailed room tour and then that's uh, McKenna's dog Cooper and then here's my closet with some more clothes on top as well as a flower crown at the way top and then their jewelry box over there and then I also have this chandelier from Michael's and yeah, their clothes is just in the closet. Oh, on it, we have this Shaytard's poster and then all of these little pieces of tape that say laugh, live, love, and then a fishy 3D sticker. Let's move on to down in the extra little bedroom. So here's what it looks like. So I have the dreamy day bed and the bedding on it. And I have mini Josefina. She's so cute. And over here we have a um, iMac computer, which is totally not sized correctly. But I did make it before I got these phones. So, I, yeah. Someone said that before. I was like, oh, that does look weird. Doesn't it? In here I just have backpack and some other school stuff. Between there is a clipboard. And let's do the posters first. So there's a AG Squared 101 poster from her contest. And then a Shaytards poster from their furniture shopping video. And then over here I just have like a bunch of backpacks and some luggage and stuff that I just keep over here because I have nowhere else to put it. And then I have Kanani's dog and Grace's dog. 
He, his name is Barksy, and then this is Bon Bon. And that's it for this room. Here's the bathroom. This room hasn't really changed at all. But on the wall we have a go for it poster and my sink that I made. People keep asking for a tutorial even though I said I wouldn't. But it's just a box and with a hole cut out in the top and this is like a candle holder. And then there's just stuff in there. And then some toothpaste, toothbrush, and then this retainer from the Healthy Smile set. This is just pipe cleaner with some beads on it to make it look a little bit more elegant, I guess. And before you ask for the floor, I think this is from our old leftover carpet that we had. And then this is just a towel because we don't have any more of this carpet left, really. I suppose I could use that one piece that we have, but I have to cut it up. And then this is actual like bathroom tiles or just tiles in general. They just peel off and you can stick it to whatever you want to use it for. Over here I have my bathtub, the little rug, and then the bubbles in here. I still have to hang this up on the wall somewhere, so that's why it's in there. And then my salon caddy thing with all my hair stuff in it. It's like hair clips, bobby pins. Most of them are being used in my doll's hair right now. And then some more stuff in there. And there's some more stuff up here too. And we have a Fleur 18 Studio sticker. And then um, I think that's Kirsten. I think. Don't get mad at me if I'm wrong. In the living room, it just looks like this. We get to the TV. So on the wall, we have this poster from Eleven Doll Stars. And then I have Kanani's chair, which I love so much. It's so pretty. And then they have Fun Games Table right next to it. And then we just have Blank Space. And then another poster from my friend, and then a bookshelf with some stuff on it, like some books, and then Disney Frozen Mystery Mini figurines. Over here is my TV. So I did a tutorial just, like, telling you how I made it. I didn't actually make it in that video, but I did a video on how I made it, and then there's some more Frozen figures and then there's a thumper figure down here from butterfly candy one of her mystery boxes oh i keep forgetting stuff but if you see on the ceiling of my bathroom see these stars they do glow in the dark which is pretty cool um i'm pretty sure you can just google like glow in the dark ceiling stars and you can buy some from there but we got them like a long time ago probably like 14 years ago so I have no idea where we got them I just stuck them on my ceiling with um Palmer clay so they stick up there pretty nicely that was before I lost all of my Palmer clay so I have no idea where I put it and then in here is my kitchen there's all of this stuff in here this is probably the fullest room of stuff that i have like you don't even know okay so let's start with up here so this star is from american girl it's a sticker and then i made that little shelf out of a kleenex box and it just has plates and stuff in it and then here's the our generation kitchen i don't think they make this color anymore i'm not entirely sure but yeah I think they just make like a pinkish reddish one now and then this apron is from a craft set from Michaels and if you can see in between the wall and the fridge is a little tray from the breakfast and bed set they sold a couple years ago and there's a bunch of stuff in the kitchen and then there's a poster it says sweet on it with some Fruit Loops. This poster is also from my friend. 
she, like, she gave me more, but I have no idea where to put them yet. So, but there are these, yep, these are it. The other posters she gave me, I have no idea where to put them yet. So that's why they're upside down on my table, so they don't get too dusty. Someone also wanted a tutorial on the table, but I used way too much hot glue when I made this. So I'm not going to make another one and waste more hot glue, so... Plus, it's not even worth your time making it because it's really flimsy and not worth it. So please don't make one. And then right here is the baking table with some of Grace's um, new little exclusive tartlets and bakery stuff that it comes with. And it has the table runner. And I have some stuff inside it, not going to show you till the detailed tour, and then a chalkboard. And then if you flip it over, it's also a whiteboard. My aunt gave me that. The chalk doesn't work too good on it, but it still works. I hope you guys enjoyed this house tour. Sorry if it was too long, but I, didn't, I try not to make these too long because I feel like they're like really boring. And then on top, I just have, like, a bunch of stuff that I store up there. A bunch of clothes and extra stuff that I don't use at the moment. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!